Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I cannot wait to share with you a huge Dollar Tree Christmas haul for 2019. This is episode four of my huge I Love Christmas series. And if you guys are totally jamming out on fall, I have 32 episodes in my I Love Fall series. I'll link the huge I Love Christmas series down below as well as the huge I Love Fall playlist down below as well. But in today's video, I have to share with you guys what Dollar Tree has been putting out and Santa has delivered this huge package again for me for Christmas ornaments this time. Oh my goodness, I'm over the moon excited to share with you guys. So without further ado, grab a hot cup of coffee, cocoa, tea, or whatever you love and let's jump into this Dollar Tree haul. <laughs> so a huge trend that you're gonna see a lot of for Christmas of 2019 is is the Buffalo check plaid again. It's back and better than ever. And Dollar Tree has jumped on the bandwagon and has put out these really beautiful little ornaments. They come in these round balls and they have the little burlap detail on them as well as the greenery at the top. They had them in the circular ornaments as well as a Christmas tree, which I thought was absolutely adorable. And they also added a star to the collection. So I found three different styles in the Buffalo check plaid ornaments, and I grabbed several of them because I do want to do more of a rustic glam tree. I'm gonna do a smaller tree, I believe, in this style, um, probably for my kitchen, but who knows, it may change as we draw closer to the holidays. I've also been sharing with you guys a bunch of Dollar Tree DIYs for Christmas already and buffalo check plaid either in the red and black or the white and black is going to be absolutely huge for this season. Another super adorable ornament that Dollar Tree puts out for DIY projects are these cute little snowman hats. So I grabbed a couple of these. They only had the red snowman hat with the little burlap trimmed around it. I know Walmart did one of these last year and it was $2. So I think Dollar Tree has a little bit better of a deal. They are very easy to embellish and absolutely adorable for DIY projects. Comment and let me know if you guys see these in your store and what other colors did these come in because I may be on the hunt for some different colors. But again, these are super fun if you guys are gonna do some DIY projects. Another super adorable ornament that I found are these cute little snowman heads. I do not remember these from last year, although sometimes I do miss things, I will admit that. But in my store, they had a black and a red snowman. The sky is the limit on these. You guys could totally paint the hats if you wanted. You could embellish them. You could add them to signs, DIY projects. I loved these and I thought for a dollar, these were a great deal. Another fun ornament that I found was this cute little Christmas door. It has the wreath on it, a buffalo check plaid little ribbon on the top. It has kind of a snowy front and then they even added a little bling door detail. So I really feel like mix mixing rustic and glam this year is gonna be super fun. I can't wait to share with you guys my ideas, but I thought this was really fun. I wanna say that they had this in another color. It's slipping my mind right now. I only grabbed one of them because they seem to be a bit of an odd size, but I think that there's gonna be some really creative DIYs that are gonna come out of this cute little Christmas door. <laughs> Another set of rustic glam ornaments that I found were these sparkling believe and peace signs. So they're kind of in this really pretty kind of copper color. They have the greenery detail at the top as well as that red buffalo check plaid bow at the top. These were really, really pretty. I felt like I think they're great for DIY projects or you can use as is. I believe they had them in this beautiful copper color as well as maybe some gold ones. I can't completely remember now, but I did grab several of these in the copper color. Another Dollar Tree Christmas ornament that I think is beautiful for the price are their reindeer. So I grabbed several in the gold and several in the white. I have some DIYs planned for these. They're also just beautiful to use as is on their own. I think for a dollar, these are a steal of a deal and make a great tree filler or an addition to like a little Christmas village. So grab them if you see them. What I saw was white gold and then they also had that copper color. If you guys are working with the copper color, I may have to go back and grab some of those in the copper color. And speaking of deer, they also are bringing back out their little deer heads. Again, they had these available in several different colors. I used this on one of my DIY wreaths last year. These are beautiful. Again, if you're decorating with that rustic style, but you could also glam these up very easily. 
Another cute and fabulous ornament find were these super adorable little elf feet. So they had some in green and also these red ones. The sky is the limit for DIYs on these. I grabbed a couple of these. So if you guys love the elf on the shelf or decorating for an elf tree or maybe Whoville or just whatnot, these are very fun and very whimsical for a dollar. It can't be beat. Another fun and fabulous Dollar Tree ornament find were these cute little snowmen. They came in the silver, the red, and I wanna say blue or green. Um, I don't remember for these from last year. I think these would make a super fun DIY and I do have one planned for you guys with these. Um, their faces, make sure you guys check on their faces because some of their faces were a little bit wonky, but otherwise there's two in a pack for a dollar, steal of a deal. Another ornament to keep your eye out for are the snowy owls. These are a really nice large size. My Dollar Tree only had two of them left. They also had one that was more of a burlap color. So for the price, these are great fillers. I used them in some garlands last year. So I do know I have a couple of them on hand, but I did go ahead and pick up two more. Another nice size ornament for the price were these larger bells. They come with greenery and a bit of burlap on the top. They have some pine cone details on them. They're white and again, they're kind of a large larger size, I feel like for a dollar, there is steal of a deal. Steal of a deal that Dollar Tree is putting out right now are their Buffalo Chet plaid red flannel scarves. I went ahead and picked up two of these. This was all that was left at my Dollar Tree. I used the tar out of these in my DIYs last year and I also wore one. They're super lightweight and actually they kept me really warm. So they're a great size. They're an infinity scarf so there's a lot of fabric to these. So if you guys see these out in your stores, grab them if you see them. Also let me know if if you guys see the black and white buffalo check plaid i know they had those out last year in scarves and my star was already sold out so don't feel bad if you guys don't find some of these things i will let you know that walmart and hobby lobby have huge selections of the buffalo check plaid fabrics um, so never fear if you guys do want to craft along you can find some of those fabrics at your walmart or your hobby lobby Another fun and fabulous rustic Christmas ornament sign are the Dollar Tree Love, Peace, and Joy ornaments. I love the detail and outlining of these. Again, they come with that bit of greenery detail. You guys could repaint these if you didn't care for the white and red, but they have peace, love, and joy, which I think would be wonderful for DIYs. These would be really sweet to add into the wreaths or a garland or whatever suits your fancy, but they come with the little burlap hanger and in this wooden form. So I think they're a really beautiful ornament for only a dollar. Another super adorable ornament find were these really cute little sleighs. One is a Santa Claus that says Merry Christmas and the other one is this darling little snowman that says let it snow. I feel like the detail on these is really nice. You could always add to them or change the color with a bit of paint and ribbon to really doll it up to suit your fancy. Another thing I love to use when doing decor projects, wreaths, garland, or just decorating my Christmas tree are these beautiful little sparkling birds. I clip these on my tree I use them all over the place. I even carried some of these into my spring decor just by painting their little heads. So for only a dollar, these are much more at a Michaels or a Hobby Lobby or a TJ Maxx. I think they're a steal of a deal for only a dollar. Another really beautiful ornament find was this really pretty white cross. I love the detail on it with a touch of bling. I would definitely probably add a big bow to the top of this, but this sparkling cross was absolutely gorgeous. They also have some really pretty little white churches. I do have some of those already, so I didn't pick those up this year, but if you guys are doing more like of a white winter wonderland, definitely keep an eye out for some of those white, sparkling, beautiful Dollar Tree ornaments. Another beautiful sparkling treasure that Dollar Tree puts out are these beautiful poinsettia clips. So they're really pretty and glittering. They come in gold or silver. They come on little clips and they are absolutely amazing. If you guys get in a hurry and you need to pop something just really pretty to the top of a package or maybe to your Christmas tree and they also make beautiful napkin rings. We're gonna be doing some holiday tablescapes. So I did pick up two of the silver and two of the gold. <laughs> 
And the other fun and fabulous holiday find that Dollar Tree puts out are these wired garland ties. So these are amazing to use if you're tying a garland onto a banister, wherever you may need something that has some greenery on it. These ties are wonderful. I'm going to be using these in my DIYs. I picked up several packages of these. They're great to fill out those little spindly Dollar Tree Christmas trees as well. So if you guys want to DIY along with me, you might want to, might want to grab a couple of packs of these. So for all of you DIYers and crafters, you may want to go ahead and grab some of their little wooden stickers. They came out with the wooden stickers. I grabbed a pack with the little stocking. It has the candy canes and the mittens. And then I also grabbed the one with the snowflakes, the stars, and the Christmas trees. I found some of these for fall with the pumpkins and whatnots, and I used quite a bit of them. These are great to craft with kids, to add to tags. You guys can really have a lot of fun with these. So you guys know me, I am so obsessed with garlands, florals, and wreaths. I did have to go ahead and pick up some Dollar Tree florals. So I found these really great picks that I wanna use for some rustic DIYs. I'm gonna be doing some centerpieces and of course mini garlands and whatnots. But I found these with the little cotton stems. I've never found these before. So I went ahead and grabbed a couple of these. It has greenery, cotton stems, a little bit of berries, and then some little pine cones to the top of that. So I grabbed, did grab a couple of those. And then as far as the poinsettias are concerned, the poinsettias are a bit small, but I will be using them in some of my DIYs. So I grabbed a couple of red bundles and I looked for the ones that were more of a muted color, um, less of the bright red and more of the deeper kind of burgundy red. And then they have these cute little greenery sticks and then also the pine cones. So I grabbed a couple of the white ones and then a couple of the uh, red ones and then of course i do love to get their berries their berries are really nice fillers of course they have red and white and then they do have a burgundy berry i believe i just grabbed the red and white i don't know that i'm going to do a ton of burgundy but you guys never know with me the other thing that i went ahead and found too that i thought was going to be fun were these really nice little red picks now they're really sparkling i grabbed several of these in the red and also the gold i feel like for a dollar that these are a really great deal now they do have a lot of glitter fallout but if you guys don't mind a little bit of glitter, which I don't, of course, because of Christmas is all glittery and sparkle, I think these are a really nice deal for only a dollar. Another fun thing I wanted to share with you guys was I picked up a pair of the green witch legs. Now you probably are wondering why would you get witch legs for a Christmas craft, but I do have something fun coming up for you guys. If you want to DIY along with me and they still have these out in your stores, go ahead and grab a set of those green and black witch legs. Another fun thing that my Dollar Tree finally put out was their white and green mesh. So I also had picked up some red mesh I wanted to let you guys know about. So if you guys see the Dollar Tree Christmas mesh, grab it. It sells out super fast. And never fear though, you can always find mesh online or at your crafting stores as well. Another fun DIY project I have in store for you has to do with margarita glasses and vases. So I picked up two margarita glasses and two vases. If you guys want to DIY along with me, grab two of each of these. These are going to be coming up in the near future. Another fun little DIY project that I have in store for you guys includes this snowman kit. So I really picked it up more for the little hat and the snowman face. I'm not super great at doing faces, but I do have a DIY plan for you guys that I needed those accessories for. And then you guys can always use the white felt in another project, but I did go ahead and grab one of these. Another fun and fabulous Christmas find were these Dollar Tree pine cones. I don't remember them having this year. You guys correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like there's about eight or nine in here for a dollar 
and they smell amazing. They have that kind of rustic fireplace cinnamon smell that I am crazy for. I definitely have some pine cones DIY planned for you guys. I like to pick up pine cones fresh outside my house, but I know not everybody has pine cones available. So if you guys need some pine cones, definitely grab some at the Dollar Tree. And last but not least, I did stop by Hobby Lobby and I had to go ahead and pick up some more of the Buffalo Check Plaid Ribbon. So I grabbed a red roll and then another black and white roll because I used a lot of black and white in my last Halloween DIY. So go check that out if you guys need some more Halloween or fall inspiration. Um, but I noticed that at my Hobby Lobby, the red and black was almost sold out. So I don't know if that is just a super hot trend this year or if maybe just locally in that area, somebody's doing like a huge display with those colors. So for this ribbon from Hobby Lobby, it is $9.99 for 75 foot, and then it's 40% off of that. Now I do know that I've been seeing a lot of people post about Walmart having the Buffalo Check Plaid ribbon. So if you guys can't find it or you don't have a Hobby Lobby, I don't personally have a Hobby Lobby in my town. I have to drive out of town to find it. You guys can definitely grab some of that ribbon now at Walmart. I love that it's gonna be available closer so for some of the DIYs I hope that that's more inclusive for everybody to be able to find that ribbon and DIY along with me so that is going to do it for this Dollar Tree Christmas haul this is episode four in my I love Christmas series I'm gonna leave the I love Christmas playlist down below so you guys can catch up on the other episodes we're doing DIYs we're setting up my studio Christmas tree and then I also have a Dollar Tree Christmas craft haul in that one if you guys like to DIY along with me or just see what Dollar Tree is putting out. So thank you guys so much for all of the love. It is so felt and all of your kind comments and words really and truly mean the world to me. I have such a huge season planned for us in this fun little Christmas crafting studio that I have set up. If you guys are jamming out on fall, I have a huge I Love Fall playlist of Dollar Tree DIYs. I did over a hundred <laughs> Dollar Tree fall and Halloween decor DIYs. I'm going to leave the huge I Love Fall playlist down below as well for you guys to check out. Just click on that. It'll take you back through 32 episodes of I Love Fall for 2019. You guys, I just go crazy and all out for seasonal decor. It just gives me something to look forward to. And not only that, I'd love to share with you guys how you can make a gorgeous boutique home on a teeny tiny budget. You don't have to break the bank to have fun decorating for every season and and it just really brings me so much joy to have fun decorating my home and crafting and give, giving my family just something fun to look at. I love to just make my home feel pretty and seasonal and just happy. <laughs> I think decorating and crafting is so good for your heart and soul. So I encourage you to keep up the good work. If you guys are new and you love to crazy craft like me, I would love to have you subscribe and be part of this wonderful little community here. Everybody here is so kind and loving, and I am truly thankful for each and every one of you guys. Everybody that comes back and watches and shares and likes my videos, y'all, I am having more fun than should be allowed, and it is a blessing and honor to share my gift to you guys, and you guys pour so much love back into me. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm hugging you all so tight. Get ready for an amazing week of DIYs next week. I love you to the moon and back. Until next time, we'll see you then. Bye-bye.